Sagittarius. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am so excited. I don't know why I was about to do. <laughs> I was about to do my um my intro for my completely totally different YouTube channel that has nothing to do with tarot. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so anyways, I'm not even going to worry about the whole spiel. If you guys know me, you know me. If you knew, welcome. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm so excited to do this for the sign of Sagittarius. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages, okay? What are the most important messages that the sign of Sagittarius need to know at this time? What does the sign of Sagittarius need to know the most at this time, please? <clears throat> you or your person may no longer be in denial, okay? Somebody is out of denial when it comes to uh, this connection here. Somebody could may well finally be ready, okay? It could be that somebody's ready to express their feelings. Yes, somebody's ready to express their feelings. They're not fighting it anymore. Somebody tried to be tough, okay? In the past, this warrior card here means that somebody was trying to be very protective, maybe protective of their feelings. They didn't want to get hurt. And I feel like for you all, this is the energy of someone that is finally coming into acceptance, okay? Give me the most important messages, all right, for the sign of Sagittarius. Most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Yes, yeah, somebody's ready to make a choice and they're making a move. The choices, they're coming towards you, Sagittarius. For some of you all, the person coming towards you could be a fellow Sagittarius, or they can have fire very prominent in their chart. Somebody has finally made the decision to choose you. In the middle of the deck, you have here confidence, okay? Somebody has built up the confidence to come towards you, but you also have the Grove card here in the reverse, okay? So with it being in the reverse, here's what scares me about this being in the reverse, okay? Because traditionally, the Grove card is all about healed wounds and mended hearts. This person's still coming through and their wounds haven't healed. So if your wounds haven't healed, are you ready for the Sagittarius is the question here. Mm. Ooh, let's see. I want to see why these messages. Yeah, they're coming in. They're coming into the unknown. They're being very brave. They're like, I'm going to make a decision once and for all. Could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini that's coming towards you, okay? But then you also have the Nine of Wands here in the reverse. So this is somebody that's... <laughs> What scares me is that I don't know if this person's healed. They're not healed. There's a bit of paranoia here as well with this nine of wands here in the reverse, okay? Keep in mind, nine of wands could also indicate somebody that's technically not really relationship type. So maybe this is, I don't know. I don't want to overread it. I don't want to overread it. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these cards first because they're starting to give me a little bit of a ugh. I'm kind of scared for you, Sagittarius. Let's take a look and see. Who is this person rushing me into the sign of Sagittarius? Who is this person? Wow. We're going to put that back, okay? Who is this person rushing in to the Sagittarius? Who is this person rushing in? Somebody has not healed. Look at that. Four source energy there, okay? We're going to have this as the overall. Somebody's rushing in. Somebody that rushed in, but they had kind of like took a break from a situation. This person may have backed off from this connection. This person may have ghosted you, but this person is back. This is going to be your side here. Oh, wow. This is your person's side over here. Bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Pentacles. All right, this is all about stability. Okay, stability, property. This is about wealth. Okay, could be that this person is wanting to build with you, but let's take a look at <clears throat> why this person may have left and how they left you. Okay, how did they leave you in this situation? They, I feel like this person did everything the wrong way because, see, you got the emperor card here in the reverse. Okay, this is dealing with somebody that is irresponsible. Is what I'm getting here. Somebody's dealing with somebody that was irresponsible. Somebody, yes, you all felt like they handled you and this situation the wrong way, okay? Because you also have this page of wands. Was well, 
was this? A, you, I, yeah, this was somebody that may have rushed in and rushed back out very quickly. It could be an Aries. A temptation for you. Mm. This is a temptation here. Let me tell you what I also feel with this situation. I feel like this is somebody you all can't trust because they're impulsive. That is what I'm telling you. They have not healed. This is very impulsive energy. This is somebody that's like, yeah, I think I'm ready for a relationship. You're not stupid. You're like, you haven't healed. You have not healed. You disappointed me. You walked away. You left this situation in balance. And you left me with a broken heart, basically. Because you also have this five of wands energy. This is someone that does this all the time. Every time you're generous to this person and you open up to the possibility of being with them, then this person dips out on you. You can't trust that this person is going to do what it is they're supposed to do. What were you doing when you were gone, when you retreated from, from the sign of Sagittarius? What were you doing? This is something that needs to be answered here. See, because see, this person, they're coming in and they're excited. They want to have this new star with you. They see this. They want to take a new journey with you. They feel harmonious when they are with you. This is somebody that's coming in as the King of Pentacles. Okay? Knight of Cups willing to offer. They're willing to offer you their heart. They're willing to give you their emotions. Somebody has some burdens they had to lay down. And now you have the Nine of Cups. Whoa. Sagittarius, was some of you all dealing with an alcoholic? Somebody was dealing with someone. They did, oh, whoever this is. Maybe they could drink till they see the bottom of a bottle. You hear me? This is somebody that had to leave a wife and or a husband to, in order for them to come towards you. I feel like this is somebody that hadn't healed from a marriage and they kept jumping. Look, whoever this is, they're still not healed from this marriage or whatever they went through. This person went through something, whether this is an addiction, whether this is a marriage or something that they've dealt with. They have not healed, but they had a resting period, but now they're ready to come in towards you and they want to offer you the Ten of Pentacles. But you all can see right through it. How are you going to come in and offer me something when you're still in this energy of overindulgence? You all can see right through it. You know that this person is still in the devil energy. You all know this person hadn't grown up. I'm telling you, for somebody, this is a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries that you all still feel is coming from a place of being very irresponsible. And you don't want them to no longer be irresponsible with your heart. Because, see, it took a lot for you all to heal. Some of you all, you still haven't healed. Keep in mind, this is a star card in the reverse. You still got some work to do because you're still mad. You're still disappointed. You're still, you know, struggling to get past whatever it is that you had to get past with this person because there was some fighting involved. For some of you all, the law may have even gotten involved. Somebody could have went to jail. Somebody could have been doing a lot of fighting in this situation here and here they come moseying on alone and they're wanting to give you a new start but they haven't even healed from what they left behind or have they actually left it behind okay because keep in mind that nine of ones that i showed you guys earlier the person may be paranoid but why is the person paranoid they could be paranoid because of the fact that that nine of wands could also indicate somebody that's not really ready to settle down, but they're going to come and tell you that they are. I made you feel worthless, but the truth is you were too good for me. You know this already, Sagittarius. You know this already. I feel like some of you all know this is saying song and dance, it's just on a different day. Here this person is swimming towards you. With this Knight of Cups energy. But they still hadn't healed. Look at that. You know something's missing. Are you hiding something from me? That's because you know that behind this facade of the King of Pentacles lies the Knight of Cups. Somebody that's giving you a little bit. But it's still not enough. And I don't feel like this is the first time it's been a situation. See, let me tell you who this person is. Let me tell you how this person is coming off. 
This person is coming off as a romantic dreamer. Whoever they meet and interact with at that time, that's the love of their life. And as soon as they get left, which I think this person did, they got left. Then they go and look and see, I can go start a ten of pentacles somewhere else. See, this is somebody that, this is the type of person that if this is masculine energy, they need to definitely, you know what? It's not even masculine. It can be masculine or feminine. This is the type of person that will start a new family with every person that they meet, whether that's having children or adopting this life as this very supportive step parent. And they will have this person all in thinking they got the ten of pentacles. Oh my God, I've met my person and they want this stability and this life with me. And what happens? They show you quickly how irresponsible they are and they run off and start a family with somebody else. But some of you all, you're dealing with a serial romantic dreamer that has children everywhere. Broken homes everywhere. They didn't told everybody the same thing. I'm sorry I made you feel worthless. I know you were too good for me. They left a trail of broken homes. And what's the first thing they tell you? I hate that you put me on the pedestal. Basically, I know I'm not ish. I am just was wondering when you were going to figure it out. Needing funds. See, let me tell you how this person rolls as well. For some of you all, you're dealing with somebody that comes back because they need money. For others of you, you are dealing with a king of pentacles. This is somebody that can, they can hold down a home financially. But they can't hold down a relationship because they don't know what the word commitment means. They wouldn't know it if it came up and bit them on the butt. But they know how to have sex. Your body knows me best. I told you, whoever this is, for some of you all, this person got children everywhere. Look at that. Look at that baby. For some of you all, you have a child that is about this age. What is this? This looks like, this looks like about nine months. They may have a nine month old they hadn't even told you about that they have on the outside. They coming back with some old children because they make families everywhere. But guess what? They don't like being tied down. I don't like being tied down. I like having my freedom to go out here and ruin somebody else's life and have them thinking they got the 10 of pentacles. I'm telling you, this person has left a lot of people and families behind because they get bored. Knight of Cups, womanizer energy, unfaithful energy, fraud energy. They play on people's emotions. That's a that's a that's a king of cups in the reverse. They play on people's emotions. Some of you all could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio that knows how to read a person deep within their soul. And then they go deep into that soul, take all of you. And go on to the next one. Because like I said before, they get bored easily and they don't like to be tied down. It's time for some of you all to start paying attention. Because you're not paying attention to the signs that are cautioning you. That this person keeps doing this same song and dance with everybody. This is a womanizer, manizer, however you want to call it. And they've left a trail of broken homes, broken families, everywhere they go. They energetically hold on to everybody. Everybody. There's always somebody house they can go back to. But you know something? I don't care what nobody say. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who's, you know who their first love is? Their addiction. Some of them have addictions, whether it's drug, alcohol, sex. That's what they love. That's what they love. But they leave a trail of broken hearts everywhere they go. This is somebody's wake up call. Give me the most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Go ahead and pull some intuitives as well. Give me a second because I just did a reading for my uh, celebrity channel with these cards here. So I got to make sure I mix them up really good. Okay, give me the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please. 
for the sign of Sagittarius. Most important messages that need to come through at this time, please, for the sign of Sagittarius. guys got a lot of messages this one was meant to come out okay you got ambitious you have I pretend I'm fine on your level they're telling you that it's time for you all to move on to get somebody that's more ambitious somebody that's on your level because again you're dealing with the ace of wands energy in the reverse okay this is somebody that's too focused on you know, what can they get at this moment? They get bored easily and walk away because a lot of you are starting to realize that this person has kept you in disillusionment, okay? Self seven of Cups energy. This person could suffer with mental health issues. Look at that, player energy. This is a player through and through. You or your person could have a Libra moon. You have, I can still taste you. I'm telling you, this is where their energy is. They may not have time for family, but they damn sure make time, make sure that they have time to make a family. Okay? Look at that. And then neglect them. Y'all can't make this up. This is the first time this card ever came out in a reading. You can't make this up. New cycle. Let me tell you. A new cycle is about to get, begin. This person, I'm telling you, this is an in and out energy. This person finna come around again. Sagittarius, with the same BS that they left with, and they always got to come back with an apology. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I'm sorry I neglected you. I'm sorry that I made you feel worthless. This is somebody, they have the, I'm telling you, it's the same sung and dance. All they do is they go from the next one eye to the next eye. When that food is done cooking, they go to the next one and see. Let me start cooking on this one right here. See, this is somebody, I'm telling you, they have families everywhere. Women are men everywhere waiting for their chance with them and they have no idea that this is what this person does. Or some may have an idea. It's time for you all to decide what it is that you want and it needs to be a final decision. Because I feel that for some of you all that don't have children now with this one track mind individual, may end up being a child that comes out of this. What did I tell you? This is somebody they can't even control their sexual impulses. Moving for work, okay? Some of you all could be deciding whether or not you want to move for a new job. For some of you, this new job could come in the month of December. For some of you all, you could be dealing with a December Sagittarius or a December Capricorn. But um, some of you all, I told you, I felt that strong energy of a water sign. Could be a Pisces that some of you all are dealing with, okay? Let's get some more messages. I got us a room. Do it for the gram. No face, no case. I'm telling you. This is somebody. They don't have time for no real connections. They too busy focusing on being a future superstar. Everybody. They, they love attention. It's time for you all to start waiting on the emperor. New cycle begins. Somebody. It's a new cycle. See, because you all knew you were dealing with the emperor in the reverse. It's time for y'all to let a real one come through. See, because this one here, they playing games. They playing too many games with too many hearts. Did I just... <laughs> I know good and well this is not coming through. <laughs> when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call. <laughs> I didn't play with many hearts, and I'm not saying no names. Y'all, this is LL Cool J back in the day. I need love. I here trying to love everybody. Uh-uh, no sorry, Bob. And y'all know LL Cool J in his heyday. Oh, my God, that man was fine. Y'all don't end up with no LL Cool J. <laughs> At least a persona, okay? Because the real LL Cool J is, he's been with the same woman for years. But this person here, they need love. They need funds, okay? Some of them definitely got somebody that's taking care of them financially. Don't let that person be you. 
I'm going to go ahead and gather these cards and close it off with some final messages. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Give me some final messages to close off this reading, please, for the sign of Sagittarius. Final messages to close off this reading, please, for the sign of Sagittarius. Jeez. All right, we'll take the justice card here. Oh, justice will be yours, baby. Justice will be served. It is time, you all. It is time to walk away. In all fairness, you did what you could to try to make this work. It didn't work. That's okay. You can walk away from this situation knowing, you know what? This just ain't the person for me. It's just not. No need in me retaliating. But don't succumb to that temptation with this person. Or else it's going to be the same song and dance. Because they're coming in. I'm telling you, once again, there's that Knight of Cups. They're coming in. They're getting ready to approach. With the same bullshit from, oh, excuse me. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I was mad when it. <laughs> excuse me. With the same BS. I'm telling y'all, they are coming in again to take advantage of someone. And they are going to be deceptive. Plain and simple. Once again, there's that Pisces. Bottom of the deck. Hierophant in the reverse. Don't ignore your intuition, Sagittarius. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, guys, thank you so, so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.